Hey guys, tonight we're here with Cosmo. I don't know that that's his real name, but he lives in this HHR and he's got an interesting line of work. You know, not everyone who lives in their vehicle does work camping for minimum wage. We're gonna talk to Cosmo and we're gonna find out a little bit about the darker side of van life, of vehicle dwelling. Here we go, guys. We'll see what Cosmo has to tell us. Bubba Box Truck Corey! So we're here tonight learning about the darker side of van life. Not everyone that lives in a vehicle is working in a campground cleaning toilets for minimum wage. Cosmo, he's got a different idea on how to feed himself, how to get by. Let's talk to Cosmo. So, so tell me, Cosmo, how do you make money? How do you feed yourself? What, 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 what is this binning? T tell me about this line of work. It's going around to big department stores that anything that gets returned just gets thrown out. So I take it and sell it to whoever. So you go to to what kind of stores? What 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 bins do you hit? Uh, what 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 stores are the best? Um, Mark's Work Warehouse, some Canadian Tires, Bed Bath and Beyond, Tim Hortons when they have roll up the rim. So you get actual roll up the rim cups. Yep. And sell them? What do you do with... Uh, just give them out. Those give out and use for your own. People that haven't rolled up the rims even got a couple hundred dollar Tim Hortons cards from people that didn't roll up the rims. So these stores, they just... What, what kind of stuff do they throw out in their garbage bin? Like, what, what do you get? Uh, boots, coveralls, jackets, pools... Pools? Pools, like... Like swimming pools? Swimming pools for your backyard. Thousand dollar <laughs> pools. Wow. Um, tools. You name it. Anything that's returned. And these in these retail stores, they just throw this, this, this shit out in their garbage bin? Yep. It's not worth them to put it back on the shelf. And... Like, I thought that they would, like sell this to a, some type of discounter or whatever, but you, you're telling me that they put this in this in their garbage bin, and you go out there at night, and you grab it, and you sell it, and that's how you live. Yep. Wow. Who knew? How much money can you make? Do you live a good life in your HHR? On, on uh, binning? That's what you call it? Binning? Yep. Decent. Decent. First, you got to get the stuff, and then got to find someone to buy it. Like, for instance, I took in $600 worth of stuff today that someone else bought. Wow. So you live a decent life, then. Like, that's not a bad way to go. Do you, do you recommend that for other people that are, like, vehicle dwellers that live in a van? No, because they'll take away from my business. Oh, that's a good point. It's better than welfare. <laughs> I guess. I even know people that go in the bins, like department stores, and throw out food. And Tell me about the milkman. Well, there was a guy that he took, he was living outside all winter. And when I went there, he had shopping carts full of milk, old milk bags that were still full of milk that companies had thrown out. And he was using it for a uh, uh, waterbed. <laughs> See, guys, you think that you need memory foam, four to six inches, but all you need is a bunch of expired bags of milk. Like in Canada, milk comes in a bag. If, you know, in the States, that it may not be as comfortable with cartons, but hey, you know, if you want to try it. 
And you, you said that he went to the Staples, that the employee section. What was that? The employee area had a barbecue? Yeah, the employee area had a barbecue. So anything that the guy got that needed to be cooked, he waited till the store closed, started up their barbecue on their propane, and cooked his meal. Now, now that's a whole new meaning to saving propane, guys. Don't use propane in your own rig. You find an employee barbecue at Staples, and you grill up the bacon you got from some grocery store bin, <laughs> and you use their propane. Man, there are ways to save money, vehicle dwelling. Who knew? Van life can be cheaper than you ever thought. Oh my, the possibilities are endless. Let's find out what other advice Cosmo has for us. Like, I had no idea of, of these, these options for living cheap. Like, my world has opened up. Let's see what Cosmo has to say. I'm sure he's got more advice for us. So have you ever had any problems in this business? You know, when you're uh, getting into the bins looking for good stuff you can sell? Well, besides raccoons and garbage trucks there to pick up the garbage you're going through. <laughs> Did he ever have any garbage trucks come while you happen to be in there looking for treasures? A couple. A couple of raccoons. Raccoons scare the shit out of you when you open the bin and they want to get out and you want to get in. How, how does that normally go? Do you each take your own side or is it, does it get bloody? Mm, you put a stick in, the raccoon comes out and you go in. I, you know, I guess it's better than rattlesnakes or something down south, but, you know, raccoons can be vicious. Yep. Yep. And garbage trucks show up and they want to empty it and you're in there. So, do you ever worry about, you know, the popo coming? Like, I, I guess, you know, what are the odds? I'm not stealing it. They're throwing it out. They don't want it. Yeah. What about security at these stores? Is that a problem or no? They're usually big fat guys. <laughs> they can't run too quick. They don't care too much no. what you're doing in the bin? They sometimes even want some stuff that's in there as well. Yeah. You know, it, it's an education. I, you know, who, who would have thunk it? Yep, that's it. Do you have any other uh, words of wisdom? Any other advice? Uh, what What would you tell uh, you know people who are struggling living in their vehicle? Uh, any Any advice for them? Stay away from my bins. <laughs> that's all you care about. That's it. Well, guys, if you're in the uh, general Toronto area. Stay away from Cosmo's bins. That's what he's got to say. And, well, that's an option. It might not be at the top of your list. It might not be what you think of for work camping. It's, uh, I don't know. It, it's a little different. It's not like scrubbing toilets for minimum wage. But is it bad? Is it, you know, these are insurance write-offs. Is it, is it a bad line of work? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm calling Cosmo... The dark van lifer. I uh, I don't really know if, if this is if this is wrong or not. What do you think? Write a comment and you let me know. One person's garbage is another man's treasure. There you have it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't su subscribed, please do so, and I will see you again soon.